All right. We are now learning all about winter travel. Here we go. <laughs> oh, and Lucky's joining us too. Lucky's a dog. <laughs> so what's included in your winter winter travel course? So uh, winter travel has three different uh, elements to it. There's a snowshoe interpretive hike. There's a full day winter survival course. Mm -hmm. And there's an overnight winter camping adventure. And that's the ultimate one. That's the take the plunge and uh, sleep outside in the winter overnight. Uh, so those oh are the three. Gosh. Okay, well, it, it might take me a little while to warm up to that idea. But in the meantime, <laughs> let's work with, these are snow Shoes. Yeah, absolutely. So these are uh, these are uh, a newer style snowshoe, not the the old racket style that they might be used to. Yeah. Um, they have the, about the same flotation, which is how high you ride up on the snow. But okay. a couple of features are smaller, lighter. They have crampons for stability. Uh, they have ratchet straps for uh, for adjustment. Right. These are these are great snowshoes. I use them all the time. Okay. How do we put them on? All right. So first of all, what you want to do is have the buckles, yep. simil very similar to snow mm -hmm. snowboard binding buckles, to the outside. You don't want to be clicking them open when you're when you're walking. So they're going to okay. go to the outside. Okay. All right. So your boot is going to go, actually, let's just work with yours. So your boot is going to go in there. You want the ball of your foot about where that pivots. Okay. So let's start with that. There we and go. And you want to make sure that when you do walk, the front of your boot mm -hmm. doesn't catch on this. Okay. You, have, you don't have you a need problem to there. Make you so that maybe one. just a touch forward. Okay. Okay, there you go. Start with that, the heel strap. The back strap. So okay. that comes around the back. And it snugs up, so that'll keep your foot from sliding backwards. Mm -hmm. Okey-doke. All right. Are you used to such small feet in here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, then you just uh, ratchet strap that up, so just like a snowboard. Right. And you're looking for snug. Too loose, and they slip around. Too tight, and your feet get cold. Okay. All right. Perfect. So how's the heel straps? Not so bad. The toe straps are pretty good. Feeling pretty snug. And there you go. Okay, so I'll copycat now, the other one. Absolutely. Okay. Um, most likely these will loosen up or or kind of settle in more like more like it on the as you're walking. Okay. So you can adjust them once or twice as you're as you're going. Right. Uh, how fast can you travel on snowshoes do you think? How fast uh, can I travel with the snowshoes? Yeah, I do. Let's go with you. Uh, well, I don't run with them. I don't. I don't do any of that. You can't run with these. You can run with them if you want. There are actually racing snowshoes that are cut out at the back. <laughs> And those apparently are them. <laughs> I'm sick with walking. Oh no! Oh, lucky you getting jealous, eh? I failed. My foot came out. Oh, did it? I didn't do it tight enough. Maybe you didn't do the back strap tight enough. I didn't. All right. Of course, the one you did up stayed on just fine. <laughs> okay, before we run out of time. Yep. Tell me what a Quincy is. Quincy is a dugout snow shelter. Yeah. Uh, an igloo by comparison is built up out of ice blocks okay a quincy is dug out from piled snow and you do want to pile the snow um, mixed snow hardens yeah if you simply dig out uh, a snow shelter out of a uh, fallen snow yeah it might collapse in but this is uh this is dug out from a piled uh, from a pile of snow. Why does it have all the little sticks on the outside? Well, when you're building the when you're building the Quincy, you don't want to dig it too the, the walls too thin. Yeah. So at the bottom, let's come over here at the bottom. These sticks are probably in about 12 inches. Yeah. It's about 12 inches, so that when you're digging it out, you don't go too far. These top ones only need to be about four or six inches. They're a little bit longer, but that's perfectly fine, just so the walls don't get too thin. Right, and you'd actually get inside this. Yeah, for sure. This is an emergency shelter. Uh, it's good. It'll stay warm for a couple of days anyways before it hardens with ice. And uh, yeah, there you go. You're kidding. Hop in. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, <laughs> let me wiggle my way in here. But uh, there's still lots more coming up this morning from Pure Life Adventure. Ah! <laughs> you wouldn't want to be claustrophobic.